The Bible makes it very clear that we are to flee from sexual immorality. But there are many people that idolize their leaders. They idolize their spiritual father or their spiritual mother. And they say, I would be nothing without you. I wouldn't exist without you. And that is a problem. That is idolatry because we got to understand that you are making these people to be an idol. And the Bible says you will have no gods before me. I am your only God and all praise and honor goes to the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, in this video, um, I saw Lovi uh, begin to bow down to passion Java. OK, now, when you when you see people bowing down to people, it is not honor. It's idolatry. You bow down to no man. I believe within scripture, there was someone that tried to bow down to an angel and the angel rebuked him. OK, so I want you all to take a look at this because there is a gross deception in the church where people are idolized mortal beings bow down to moral beings beings there is an honor that you can do like this and then there's idolatry where you bow down before people all right now i want y'all to take a look at this i'm going to learn for too long just for a short time but i want to thank the most excellent father in the universe my personal prophet without this man i would not exist <laughs> now the bible says this can two walk together unless they agree, right? Lovi says here, without passion Java, he would not exist. I don't see anything to do with God. You know, God helped me to get here. It's all because of God. You know, when we have leaders in our lives, they are just vehicles. God will assemble them. God will assemble them. God will assemble them into our lives. God will bring them into our lives. Um, and they'll be used as a vehicle to help us, but it's really God. And right, but in this case scenario, we know that Passion Jay was a sorcerer, right? We know he's a witch doctor, but you see Lovi bowing down to him, right? And saying, without my spiritual father, Passion Jay, I would not exist. Basically saying that I wouldn't be the man that I am. I would not be Prophet Lovi. I wouldn't have my long uh, dreadlock hair. I wouldn't be tatted up ministering. I wouldn't be teaching on the third eye. I wouldn't be this popular. Because I believe there's a video where uh, Passion Jay was talking about how he gave Lovi, I think, ten thousand dollars or something like that, and told him, um, you know, when you when I give you this money, it's going to attract more money, and then um, from there you're going to be able to buy a um, million dollar apartment or something like that. And Lovi did it within three months. I think I saw a video like that. I was watching it a couple of days ago. But anyways, um, let's let's go back real quick. Let's listen. <laughs> My father is not just a prophet, he's an ancestor. Yes, sir. <laughs> he's an old man in a young man's body. And, and that is strange to call him an ancestor, an old man in a young man's body. I don't know what he means by that because Passion Jehovah has absolutely, absolutely zero wisdom. I, I've never seen someone mock the faith, mock the Bible in a way that it's just insane. And I have nothing against Passion Java in terms of just who he is, like in, in general, but how he purposely takes scripture out of context, mocks God, mocks the Bible, mocks Christians, how he does these things habitually is ridiculous. How he will mock people speaking in tongues when he's speaking actual, when he's speaking his language called Shona, talking about sweet potatoes and just insulting people and, and saying Bank of America and all these crazy things selling his picture online like uh, i'm telling you guys you know a tree can a, a bad tree cannot bear good fruit so a passion java has has lovi is the fruit of passion java right here lovi is the fruit of passion java okay so we know the fruit is bad you understand me on passion java's website you already know i exposed him a bunch of times sells his pictures and everything and and you know I'm going to say this, though. It is not acceptable to be a preacher and to be dressed like this. Right now, a lot of you will say, you know, it's not about the appearance. It, it, your appearance matters, especially if you are if you are now becoming a stumbling block, you are now showing off. Yes, it does matter. It becomes sin. If the Bible says, if you know what to do 
Um, if you know what to do, but don't do it, it is a sin. Right? Showing off your muscles, you can cause women to stumble. I would never preach and, you know, look like that it's in a church, you know, just shoulders showing, arms all tatted, and it's just you're wearing like a vest. It does not look like you're there to preach anything holy or righteous, and you're bowing down to a man, and everyone is standing up, and Pastor Jeeva is sitting down, and Lovi bows down to him. It's just there's this there's this hierarchy system of like, okay, this guy does. It's like the it's like a, a, the elites. You bow down to him. He bow, bows down to this person. He bow, and it's like this pyramid. It's just ridiculous, and it never gets to God. It's just literally just. It's like a mafia. You understand me? It's like a mafia, and it's absolutely demonic, because this gives no glory to God, and it makes people worship man. It makes people worship man, and. It's bizarre, and I think strange that you know he's bowing onto him. He has his hand on his on his um um knee. You know we can honor people and be like, I can honor someone. Let's say Apostle Romeo say or my dad. You know I've learned so much for, from you. You have blessed me with so much wisdom and understanding. You know um, you have helped me get to this place. Obviously, all glory to God, but God has brought you in my life and you have helped me a lot to get closer to Jesus. And I honor you. And most importantly, I honor the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, but this right here to say that, you know, you wouldn't exist because of Passion Jeva. It is it is revealing the fact that Passion Jeva has done so much for Lovi to the point where Lovi will be committed to Passion Jeva no matter what. Will honor him and bow down to him no matter what. And when Lovi bows down to him, He's also basically telling you that everything Passion Jiva does, everything Passion Jiva says, he's for it. He supports it. And this is why he won't speak against Passion Jiva or anything he does. Lobi's not bewitched by, by Passion Jiva or under a spell. They're working together, right? They're working together and they have been working together. They've been side by side for years and years and years. Before he even knew who Lovi was, they were together. Before he even knew who Lovi was, Passion Jiva was grooming him. Before he even knew. That's what y'all don't understand. You know what I mean? So um, I say this, you know, to say, don't be that person that idolizes a man. Don't be that person. All right. God bless you.